Hey friends, I'm really glad we can spend some time together and check out another terrifying horror game. This game is called Within, and it's a free, narrative-driven horror experience that you can find on itch.io. And it's yet another one of these really small 2023 horror projects that I'm just fascinated by. And I've mentioned this before that if this is indicative of the quality we can expect from horror games going into the rest of the year, I'm just so excited about 2023. You know, this channel is so new for me and I feel like we're gonna create a ton of new memories and experiences together and uh, this is just another one on the list. So without further ado, here is Within. They abandoned the God who had made them, they sacrificed unto demons who they knew not. Deuteronomy 32:15. Uh, you know, that is one way to make your horror game, like, two levels creepier is just start it off with a Bible quote. I hadn't heard from Boom. my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Full Nick voice acting. He disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. He's like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. I don't him, <laughs> considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. I'm trying to drink more water during recording, cause uh, then, last night at around no. 3 a.m. Everything just dries up. Message. I oh, heard 3 it. 3 a.m. The witching later. hour. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you may not hear from me again. For a while. For a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. Is he British? Figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. And naturally, we're gonna go looking for him. I know I haven't said this enough, but I, I do love you. Always have. Yeah, red flags immediately popping up for me. What do you guys think? I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. A few of these opening landed, shots are pretty cool. A hotel and then took a cab They're to the already last setting the tone. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. Yeah, writing's good too. I don't know what kind of trouble I he's like in, it. But when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. Yeah, voice acting's not bad at all. And I great job. Him. This is exciting. All right, so I think we're going to start here. Yep. I don't know what to expect other than I know this is a narrative-driven game. Quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see. He should be at apartment 405. Okay. Left-click on object in your surrounding area to interact with him. Okay. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? Well, the whole game is fully fall voice acted. 405 is our elevator. 403. This should be 405 here. No, other side. Unfortunately, our character is not very fast. A little bit of arguing going on, not uh, not too uncommon for an apartment complex. Okay. Hello. Okay. Where'd they go? There was. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Mm. Do you guys miss my narration? They're they're narrating everything, so. I should ring the doorbell. All right, ring the doorbell. Okay. I guess he's either not home mm. or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. 
Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Yeah, better be safe than sorry. Especially when you're checking on a loved one. Gosh, what is that smell? Oh, just a gamer Nick? room. Nick, are you here? It's just the smell How of a gamer. How is living like this? This. Uh, speaking of which, I've gotten a lot of really kind feedback on a lot of my videos. Um, I was asking, like, what is your favorite way to experience these kind of horror videos and just videos in general? And a lot of people were telling me, uh, you know, that they listen to it when they're doing something else. Um, right. They like have it in the background, and I just, I really like that. I think that's awesome. Nick, that are you in I can there? be a part of you guys you okay? working on something. Open this or, door. Um, whether it's like something for work or it's like a creative endeavor. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Okay, find some other way to get it open. Yeah, it's just cool and like knowing in some way I'm like a part of that. These are the kind of things I think about like when you guys send me comments. Um, and on, on the YouTube side, I, I like to read all of them. Um, TikTok, I, I can't possibly because I've, I've been doing that for a while and there's just too many. But I try to respond hurt to best I can. A little? It's like a college dorm. Okay, another way to get in. But I wonder what that could be. Does he have a key of some kind? Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? Freelance web development Didn't gig. Didn't kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? Before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. Oh, that was a... Uh, I didn't expect that transition. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. I cannot we get over the production father. values of this game. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. I'm so impressed. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. But that wasn't your fault, you know? You were young and all of a sudden had this entire new responsibility kind of placed upon your shoulders. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. I'm just continuously impressed. I think I just lost my appetite. With this game. So another way to get it open, I'm thinking, you know, first thing to come to my mind is a key. Of which there does not... Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon to be again. Any. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex mm. hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for this him. This is a lot of trauma for one 16, family to deal with. Driving home from a party. Especially Alex at such a young seat. age. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. Hmm. He was drunk wow. out of his mind. 16 years old. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. Right, like With how do you move on, on from that? I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. You were doing your I best. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. You were doing your best with the situation you had. Guys, how do you feel about this game so far? I'm just... Imp I'm, I'm very impressed. Oh. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Jeez. Hello? Hello? What does that say? How did this door open? Demon Borg? There's got to be a light switch somewhere. That, oh, there we go. Who unlocked it? Oh, he well, is a gamer. At least I know where all his money's going. But we used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. 
Wow. Wait a minute. Look how clean this room is, right? And then you go into this room. It's almost as if two different people are living in each room. I, I know that's probably not the case, but... I see his taste in wow. music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. I thought it was pronounced occult. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Yeah, he's got a really nice computer. Power button. Your standard issue USB slots. USB 3.0. Okay. USB, USB drive missing. Drive? Let me see if I can Oh, it needs one. a USB drive to boot? Okay, that's... This could be it. Not... I mean, some people have their operating systems on their USB drive. Like, I have an Atari VCS and I have a USB drive that boots it into Windows. I haven't really found a use for it yet. It was just something cool I tried. So now we should be able to run... Sandbox OS. Safety, security, anonymity. Game.exe or play log? Let's check out game. Is he developing it? Okay. The game's crashing. Is he developing a game? I finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS, a secure, heavily modded Linux variant running as a VPC, and the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. A single .exe file, not very cleverly named, no instructions. To think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. These things I had to trawl through to find it, things I don't think I can ever unsee. Uh, I don't have much hope for humanity anyway. We're beyond broken, beyond redemption. We're broken beyond redemption. I don't know why I said it like that. I'll continue taking notes in these text files. If this game is the real deal, I can later use them to compose a post documenting my journey for the r slash occult subreddit. Okay. So this isn't a game he made. This is a game that he pretty much had to get on a USB drive, find it on the dark web, and then he's loading it through a completely separate OS because it's probably filled with malware. Anyway, first things first, I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. The stories about the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it, and that looks like the end. Can I scroll? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Click to start, move. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. This is awesome. I wonder if this OS can run Doom. <laughs> Someone's going to get Doom running on this. Okay. So this is the game from the dark web that took him six months to find. This is definitely no... Sonic.exe. I'm not sure if that's garbage or flesh. Some sort of abandoned parking garage? And a demonic symbol. I wonder what this is referencing. I don't recognize the symbol. I don't think we saw it on any of the Paintings, or not paintings, excuse me, um, posters. He's been facts. Okay. Yeah, I got no clue what he's saying. Probably not something, uh, too welcoming. And the deeper we go, 
the more sinister the the atmosphere and the tone is getting the the environment is just oppressive it just is demon okay So with dark web games, there's always something, right? It's not just a game. There's something sinister in the real world. <laughs> okay, we got a gamer on a mobile device. Wait a minute. Is that my brother? Is that her brother? Wait, that file wasn't there before. Is her brother trapped in the game? Got it to run. First impressions, a creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. Uh, PS1, in my opinion. The game's unstable, crashed four times already. Good thing I sandbox it. It's chewing up files and then randomly spitting them back. No credits, no title screen, no save, load. It was hard to find. So many fake leads and bullshit. I have given up sooner. Th I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident, following an anonymous link to a file dump on an Onion server. I'm not sure what that means. I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I pieced together sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it allows himself to be found by whom it selects. There are stories that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed whole in the filth of the dark web. How? A digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. As I spent hours digging into this, the old compulsions are in inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol is impossible to resist. The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps the most disturbing of all is the notion that it can, and then it ends. Um, I recently played a horror game called Mirror Forge that dealt with Sumerian demons, too. Okay, I guess we're going to have to keep clicking to get in. Oh, two times this time. Okay. Well, there is a little bit of saving and loading. Another demon spitting facts. Telling it like it is. And now this door should be opened. I have a feeling we're going to get trapped in this game as well. But I really don't know. Yeah, the deeper we go, the more oppressive and heavy this environment is. What the hell is this? Who are these guys? Nick. That's her brother. That's who we just saw. I I can kind of tell from the collar on the shirt. Unknown error. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. And those no other sense. people were probably the others that I've played this game this on the game dark web. Going again. Okay, what happened? What did we... Get the game going Looks again? Looks like it's crashed. Oh, I... restart the computer, okay. That's a big... Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. That's a the big computer. The electrics are falling apart like the rest of the building. Right. The electric. Do you guys believe that for a minute? Because I don't. I can't leave just yet. It hasn't gotten any more appetizing since yeah, I last Yeah, that's looked. a pretty <laughs> triangular piece of pizza. Pizza, pizza. Okay, here we go. Sandbox OS. Let's get another attempt at this dark web game. Oh, here's another play log. For some reason, they're only in odd numbers. 
Getting worse, growing signs of malevolence, waking nightmares, oppressive thoughts, general malaise, and intense craving for self-defilement, weird sounds from the other room, voices, footsteps, shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a picture. That was probably the picture we just saw. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bail Nagin, aka the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon, perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. Deacon. <laughs> okay. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped by the Lagani sect in then Samaria. Requires human sacrifice, feeds on fatalism, guilt, and grief. Manifests in the recurring nightmares of killers, in the lust-regret cycles of serial sex offenders, in the dying fugue, fugue of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrevocably wrong. A vile parasitical being that consumes those it selects. The simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate. The pattern of the symbols, the piles of, refu the piles of refuse and filth, the writings on the scrolls, all of it suggests an invocation ritual. Have I made a terrible mistake? What am I awakening in the deep dark? The game is trying to... It trails off. So, what is really happening here is I'm assuming this demon in order to feed is using the game as a means of attracting those types of people who he feeds off of that, that have this past trauma. Oh, this time it worked on the first try. And of course, my, uh... that's my name. Oh, we got a gamer on the run. I'm waiting for something to jump out. One of four collected? It's like slender, the eight pages. Except four pages. No, but I feel like this is this game is more of a conduit for the demon, uh, because it it attracts those people with with that trauma, and it seems like it's spiking his desires to continue to go down that path. Wait a minute, where do I go? I don't see any walls anywhere. Okay, hold on one second. Something I'm missing. Oh, here. Okay. Three more pages needed for what exactly? And my character dealt with a bunch of that trauma too. So... Is it going to take advantage of me? This is what... We don't know. Okay. Well, I missed something because... His face didn't light up. Like the others. Okay. Is this another page? Is this the one I already went to? Uh, this might be the- oh! Two out of four collected. Did that open the door? Shit, okay. Definitely a little more nervous now. Oh! Hey! Yeah. We have a goat gamer. Shit. Okay, so this is the one I was waiting for the eyes to light up, and then this crank door should be open for business. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge. My... Help me. Please. You have to help me. Well, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Maya, it's awful here. 
please help me. Oh, right when we were getting to the good part. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I'm going to get this PC going again. Okay. Do it. Those Damn Hello? Words. Is someone there? I'll restart it later. Fine, let's go and check in the scary ass apartment. It's not Nick, because we know Nick's in the game. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. Okay. It's not that dark. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, that's awful. Oh. No. There's no one. Nobody. But that's it. <laughs> Nick. His face. His face. What is happening to me? All right, we got to find him. We have got to find Nick immediately. Come on, this thing better have a solid state drive. Hurry up. Playlog 12? Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, here we go. I saw Alex today. He was here in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago on a gurney in a morgue the day after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning, but I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her, tell her to stay put and not come looking for me. Because I know Maya, she'll look for me if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me, even after all these years. She still blames herself for my failures, even though she shouldn't. If she only knew that she's the last good thing left in my life, the reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from this, and I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here, and then it ends. Okay. Maybe we can't save him, but we're damn sure gonna try. If the game will let us in. Which is a big if, apparently. Thank you. Okay, two two tries, or three tries. Um, okay, so we get, we're probably going to need a couple more pages. Page three. I love that art. Gorgeous. Now, I don't know... <laughs> Okay. Oh. Uh, that was kind of funny a little bit. <laughs> page four. I'm not sure exactly what what we're collecting. Like, what is the purpose of these pages? What is it meant to accomplish? Is there some sort of counter ritual we can perform to... Save our brother? From this demon that's... Oh. Is that him? Oh, damn it. What the hell was that? Oh, Nick. Nick. Wait, Nick. Wait, do, what happened to the apartment? Look at the walls. Was it always like this? No, it wasn't. Nick! It, it, was it always like this or am I tripping? 
Wait a minute. I do Nick. not want to test what that is. Nick, stop. So did we it's actually me. get him out? We can't have actually got him out, right? Like, we didn't... The demon clearly was there, but we didn't defeat him. Shit. <laughs> I'm not going near that elevator. That wasn't Nick, was it? No, was that, that wasn't like a black some someone in a long black robe. I don't think it was that demon. So we went into the stairwell. He had to have gone downstairs. Nope. My I'm down here. Down here? Come quick. Oh! I'm trying. We got a goat. Gamer following us. This should be the last floor, right? Because he was on the fourth floor. My. Come on. I'm oh. waiting for you. And I'm... How We're many flights of steps? Here. The dude lives on the fourth floor. I have a feeling that's not Nick. You can't save me, Maya. You never could. Even when we were growing up, you couldn't even protect me from myself. The accident, Alex's death, my miserable life, all of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. But that's not how Nick actually feels. That's not Who Nick. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? We know that's not how he feels. So now what? Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. That's not going to do any good. He's in the game. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but... There's been so no why didn't we him. get put in the game? I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something oh, okay. or someone stepped between right. us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me. Wow. Okay. That, um, I, I, I was thoroughly impressed. I, w I was thoroughly impressed by that game. Wow. That was within, and, and man. So... First of all, fully voice acted, which, you know, bravo for that. Voice acting was great, by the way. But the concept of finding this mysterious, unknown game on the dark web in which there really only exists one copy of. I'm, I'm sure he picked up the USB drive somewhere. Um, that's inherently interesting, and, and I love that premise for 
a horror game like this. Plus the title within makes sense in the context of what we know now. That was an excellent, excellent free indie horror game. If you guys want to check it out yourselves, it is on itch.io. Uh, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did and, uh, you know, enjoyed this journey we spent on the game together. As always, I love you very much. I will see you in the next episode. Please stay safe uh, and take care.